Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to kick off a new series on this channel and it has been inspired by Jay over at the channel JG. She started doing this and it is books represented by the colours of the rainbow. She is using the mnemonic uh, Richard of York gave battle in vain, so R-O-Y-G-B-I-B. Uh, so red, orange, yellow, <coughs> green, blue, indigo, violet. Um, and today's video is going to be books with red covers. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is a sequel. So please forgive me. Um, <clears throat> sorry, forgot to pick it up before I started. And that book is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I read this book in April last year, absolutely fell in love. Um, I actually read the first book in March last year and I fell in love with Lainey Taylor's writing. Um, I'd previously listened to one of her books on audio, didn't really get on with it, but I'm going to give it a go in the written word. But Muse of Nightmares is the continuation of Stray Laszlo Strange's story from the Strange the Dreamer duology. And this is about what happens when he, following the fallout of the first book, I can't really tell you anything about it because it would give the first book away. But I absolutely adored this book. And this cover, this orangey red cover is just gorgeous and shows up quite well on camera, I think, as well. Um, but the whole thing is red um, with beautiful silver writing and really, really do highly recommend Lainey Taylor and her writing. So the second book I want to talk about is Ascension by Felicity Heaton. This is the beginning of a fantasy romance series that she started back in 2013. Um, I read it a couple of years ago, really enjoyed it. I uh, haven't looked to see if I've got any of the other books. I do have quite a lot of Felicity Heaton's books. Um, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's about uh, Lilandra and Taig. Lulandra is a witch who is about to come into some very strong powers. However, her coven have turned against her. She's also being hunted by some people who want to kill her for her powers. And her powers, if not controlled, could destroy her too. She turns to Taig, who is her ex-lover, for protection. And old feelings are stirred up and a battle ensues. And obviously they end up with a happy ever after. So... I did enjoy it at the time. It is one that I see the cover of and think, oh, I must continue that series. So it is one that I enjoyed. It's just one that I've not gotten back to yet. Um, but yes, if you want to start somewhere with fantasy romance, if you want something that's got some steam in it, then I definitely recommend Felicity Heaton's writing. The next red book that I'm going to recommend is um, a middle grade book and that is Dragon Mountain by Katie and Kevin Sang. I first read this book earlier this year, absolutely fell in love with the world building, thought it was gorgeous. It's about four children who go to China on a school camp and discover that they have an affinity with dragons um, and that dragons are real and it's about their adventures from there. It's so far it's a series of three um, I don't know if the third book finishes it or if there would be more after that. Um, but the third book's only recently come out. If you've seen my September book haul, then you know that I already own it. So I'll probably be reading that one very, very soon. Um, but the first book in the series is red and I just love this cover. I know it's got the blue on it with the dragon. Um, but really, really, the dra it, was, it was the cover and the colour of the cover that caught my eye when I first saw it in the bookshop and was the reason why I picked it up. So yes, really good fun, these books. Do recommend them um, for anyone who likes fantasy. Um, they are a great start as well for kids. And the next book I'm going to talk about is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I know that Sarah J Mass is... People are either enjoying her writing or they're not. You either love her or you really don't enjoy her at all. Now, I didn't enjoy her original series, Throne of Glass series, but I read the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I listened to them on audio and absolutely loved them. A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is the first book and the title of the series, is A Beauty and the Beast retelling. 
I adore Beauty and the Beast. It is my all-time favourite Disney film. It is my all-time favourite Disney princess. I love Belle. I want to be Belle. Can you tell? Uh, so, yes, yeah, so um, Beauty and the Beast retellings are a bit of a weakness for me. So when I heard that this was Beauty and the Beast, I had to pick it up and give it a go. It is about Feyre, who lives in the mortal world, and she unwittingly murders um, a beast from the Fey world, who wasn't actually a beast. They have been enchanted to look like them. Um, and she is then taken hostage by the king of the Fey world, of the summer court, um, whose subject she's murdered. And she is then put through some trials um and yeah i've read the whole series so i know that's not where it ends and i know that um i know there are some problems with tamlin who is the beast character in this book uh but yes i really did enjoy it and i do recommend them if you if you like retellings then definitely because a court of mist and theory i think plays on the hades and persephone trope I can't really remember what trope A Court of Wings and Ruin plays on, but yes, they, they are all retellings in their own way. Um, and yeah, you'll be surprised who you end up rooting for by the end of it. And the next book I'm going to talk about uh, with a red cover is one from my childhood, and that is Red Wall by Brian Jacks. Um, I'm not sure, this is... Um, a vintage classics edition which is why it's got the red cover i'm not sure if you buy uh, the regular um versions if it is red but this one is red on my shelves and it's one that i've really enjoyed uh this was the second of the red wall books that i picked up um when i was in my final year of primary school so the year that i turned 11 our teacher read to us Mossflower, which is another book in this world. This is set around a forest where the animals can talk. Um, so it's fantasy and it caught my imagination. And then after uh, Mossflower, I then went on and picked up Red Wall and really, really enjoyed it. I've read others in the series. I've bought them for my sister so that she can have them on her shelves. Um, and absolutely they're absolutely great kids they are ones for uh children with slightly older reading ages there so if um if they've got the reading age of maybe 12 and up then the red wall books are good for them there is a lot in them um like i say they are fantasy uh but yes they're, they're really really great and i really do love them as a series as an adult and as a child and the final book I'm going to talk about is The Mating by Nikki Charles. I first read this book about 12, 13 years ago. It is pre-Kindle for me. So it goes back to when I still had an iPhone. And I started reading um, on iBooks. And I can't remember why, but some of the books that I'd been reading had pointed me in this direction. It's one of the very, very early uh shifter books werewolf shifter books that i read and it stayed with me um it's about a woman who is told uh that she is to be married off to the alpha of a neighboring pack to form an alliance and she doesn't want to go because she's in love with her childhood friend and she wants to stay and be mated to him only she's forced to go it's about two people who don't know each other getting to know each other and forming a bond and learning about each other forming a relationship and it's about danger to the pack as a whole um and there's a mystery involved in it and like i say it's one of the very very early romance books that i read and i really really enjoyed it at that time and there are other books in the series and i went on to read those as well and like i say it's one of the only ones i remember actually reading and owning when I had an iBooks account. So those are some books with red covers that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, have you read any of them? Let me know if you have. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you have. I make videos every week. They go up at 6.30pm UK time and I will see you all again in the next one.
Bye.